What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest additions to my Apple product collection for review, so let's jump right into it. So I know how much you guys love these videos and I decided to continue the tradition by keeping you updated with a version from February 2016. So to begin, here is my tripod, film most of my YouTube videos here, regular basis. Highly recommended for anybody looking to make professional looking videos, even if you get a cheap one, just a handy little tool to have. Moving on, here's my first Mac ever. This is the MacBook Unibody 13 inch model. Uh, works very, very well. Upgraded the hard drive and it still works to this day, proving that Macs actually are very durable and can last for a while. Here's my current MacBook Pro. This is the 13 inch with Retina display. Works very, very well. I do most of my video editing on here. Not the most powerful machine in the world, but powerful enough for me and very portable. So I like it a lot and that's my current laptop. Here's a Mac Mini. We've had this for a while. This is my family computer. Great budget entry level Mac if you want to see what Mac is all about and you have the accessories and peripherals already. It's also cheap and one of my favorite Apple design products of all time. Really love the design there. Here is the iPad section. You guys know what iPads do. That's the original iPad and this is the iPad 3. I bought this to actually test the waters of iPad and see what it was all about with Apple tablets. The iPad 3 is still my current iPad. I haven't felt the need to buy a new iPad. I don't really use tablets that much, but I really enjoyed the upgrade from the, three, from the 1 to the 3. And maybe I'll buy a new iPad if they come out with a new revolutionary feature, but I haven't felt the need as of yet. So I'm just going to stick with the iPad 3. There are my Beats. Use those as my regular headphones. Great line of headphones. Highly recommended. Here is my iPod section. These two are actually what I had in middle school and my first couple iPods. The iPod Nano Original and the iPod Video. Here is the iPod Touch 1G, iPod Touch 2G, 3G, and 4G. I did start my YouTube videos with the iPod Touch 1G and that sparked my interest in the iPod and the iPhone. I used all of these at a different year and time and I did do reviews on a lot of them for you guys. So you guys know what those do again. My favorite was probably the iPod Touch 1G just because I remember loving it so much. But the iPod generation really has gotten a lot better over time and almost can compete with the with the iPhone itself as it has a lot of the features where I know the iPod Touch original was much less than the iPhone. So great, great line of iPods and I did have them all for review for you guys. Here's just a dock for an iPod or an iPad. Um, I really like that. I usually plug my iPad into it and just hook it up to a charger. Just a nifty way to look at your iPad and view videos and stuff like that. Here's my iPhone section. So that is the iPhone 4, iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, another iPhone 5S, gold version, iPhone 6, and iPhone 6S. And so basically, I have had almost every single iPhone besides the 4S from the time it moved over to Verizon, as that is my service. Really, my favorite iPhone was probably the iPhone 5, as I remember, it was the perfect size for me. I do think the iPhone 6 and 6S are a little too big at times. But that's my whole line of iPhones. I did reviews on all of them. I'm sure you guys have seen my videos. So I did have all of those. Very cool stuff. These are square readers. These are basically little plugins that you plug into the bottom of, my, of an iPhone to swipe a credit card and make money. I did that when I was trying to sell some products on a garage sale. Here is Coin. This is basically an NFC credit card that you can use. Basically the way it works is you can hold it up to a card reader instead of swiping it and store almost five credit cards on it uh, itself. It's an electronic credit card. Works very well. Seems to be more secure and I really enjoy that. I'm going to have a review up on that at some point. Uh, here's just an extra pair of Apple headphones I have. Here is a third party charger that you can use to charge your device on the go. Here is basically a new band for the Apple Watch, and here is the Apple Watch itself. I have the Sport Model 38mm, as I wanted it to be cheaper and just get a feel for what the Apple Watch does, see if I really liked it. I don't have the box for that right now, I'm not sure where I put it, but I do love the Apple Watch, and I also love that band. It looks more professional if you're like at work or in a meeting or something. Um, so I just bought that for like 35 bucks on Amazon rather than buying the Apple version. Uh, very, very cool for the fashion. And here is the point and shoot camera I use. It's basically a PowerShot ELPH 300HS Canon. And it works very well. It's actually 12 megapixels, shoots full HD 1080p. And I use that with my tripod over there. It works very well. And I film a lot of videos on there too for you guys. Uh, outside of these general products, I do have some speakers. 
such as a tower speaker and a whole speaker set that was too big to actually have on camera here. I could do another review for you guys later. And I've got a bunch of bunch of case, or cases that I use on a daily basis to switch between them. They have, one of them has a bottle opener on it. One of them is just a standard in case. I can do reviews of that for you guys later. But these are the standard products I do for reviews for you guys. So basically to reiterate, I've added the Apple Watch the Beats headphones, the iPhone 6 and 6S, I believe, and all of these readers along with this charger and a few extra speakers. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to stick around, rate thumbs up, and subscribe. I'm looking to do more reviews for you guys in the near future, so stick around for that. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I've got all of my social networks down there for you guys to check out, so follow those, and be sure to just stick around, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed, and I will definitely do more reviews for you guys in the near future. Peace.